Hummingbird. Run. Hi, everybody. <laughs> I'm being silly. We're going to start in about five minutes. I just want to give everybody a chance to uh, to come on. Hi, Rebecca. Welcome. We're in Estes Park, Colorado today. Oh, and I just hit my tripod with my camera on it. We're going to start at noon, um, mountain time. Because we're in the mountains. Because we're in the mountains. And today, my husband Robin is with us. Poor day. <laughs> Isn't it beautiful? It's a beautiful day here in Estes Park. So our, That's right up behind that mountain. Hello, right? hello, Mississippi. Warren's Peak. Yeah, so right, right, oh my, let me see, right there, right there. That is Long's Peak. That is a 14,000 foot mountain. Uh, that you can actually hike to the top of and I don't know what the mountain in front of it is called And we are in Estes Park, Colorado. Thank you. It is beautiful. We're going to talk about uh, Earthing today about actually grounding and earthing yourself so that you have more balance and it's really good for your health Hey, thanks for joining. <laughs> We're barefoot <laughs> We're barefoot in Estes Park <laughs> Thanks for joining. We're gonna start at noon my name is Leslie, this is Go To Kitchens. Normally we talk about food, but today we're talking about grounding and earthing, and I can't think of a more beautiful place than Estes Park, Colorado, except maybe the North Shore of Oahu, uh, to do some grounding. So we're gonna do it today in the mountains. Um, welcome, thanks for coming in. Stick with us, we're gonna, uh, we're gonna talk about grounding today, and I'm gonna show you the Rocky Mountains behind me. That's actually Rocky Mountain National Park that you're looking at. There's some more of it. And my name is Leslie and I am gotokitchens.com. Hashtag love to cook. Go to kitchens is geo the number two kitchens.com. And hashtag love to cook is L U V the number two cook. Thanks for the hearts. You're gonna enjoy today's broadcast. We're gonna have some fun. So, can you tell me what time it is? Two it's two minutes to two minutes to grounding at Go To Kitchen. Robin just walked by. Let's follow him. <laughs> you can hear the little stream in the background. We are, uh, let's see, how far are we from Denver, somebody asked. Uh, we are about hour an hour and a half from Denver. Hey, welcome, stick with us. We're gonna talk about earthing and I'm gonna show you a little bit of the Rocky Mountains right there behind me. So everybody stay with me. We're gonna start in about a minute. My name is Leslie, this is Go To Kitchens. And normally I talk about food, but today we're gonna talk about food for thought. And we are gonna talk about uh, balancing yourself and grounding. Thank you very much, I appreciate that. Um, and so I, I have to tell you that we were just in Estes Park, which is just uh, just like right, right, right over here, sorry. It's like right behind those trees right there. The town of Estes Park is right there. Hey, welcome Raymond, Ramona, sorry. Uh, <laughs> Um, and so we were just having lunch and I told Robin, I said, for my broadcast, I have to go get a cheesy t-shirt. And so because I love you guys and I love to cook, um, I'm going to show you my cheesy Estes Park t-shirt. <laughs> Here we go. Look at that. I think I need to move my camera down just a little bit. There we go. Look, I bought this t-shirt just for you guys. Rocky Mountain National Park. Love. And that right behind me is Rocky Mountain National Park. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah, so, um, so let me just introduce myself. I know I've done it like 10 times, but let me do it again while we were waiting. My name is Leslie, this is GoTo Kitchens. You can find me at gotokitchens.com. Um, that is G-O, the number two, K 
kitchens.com. You can also find me on all social media that way. So if you look up that, uh, you're going to find me in Facebook. That's where I chat with my audience. Um, you're going to... Uh, you're gonna find me in Twitter, of course, here on Periscope. Thanks for the hearts, everybody. If you like these mountains, you can heart it up today uh, because we are gonna see a lot of those. So, uh, but before we get into where we're at and what we're doing, first, I just wanna talk very quickly about a very simple principle. So instead of talking about food today, we're gonna to talk about food for thought. And so that is the principle of grounding. And, or earthing, some people call it earthing. I like to call it naturing. <laughs> That's kind of my own word because I'm experiencing nature and basically what it means is that you're taking the electrical energy from the earth and you're putting it, I know don't, this is not very very, this is scientific, you're taking electrical energy from the earth and you're putting it back into your body and you're also taking your energy and putting it back into the earth and it is a way to become one with the earth and it's so important because this is our planet, this is where we live, this is our home. Um, and it's very important as inhabitants of our planet that we take the time to commune with it, to commune with nature. A lot of us live in suburban areas, a lot of us live in cities, um, and it's all concrete around us, and we work in office building, and we wear shoes every single day of our lives, and we never have the opportunity to walk outside barefoot, and I'm gonna talk loud, to walk outside barefoot. That is all, that is absolutely all that earthing is. It is walking around outside barefoot. And if you have the time, and I like to do this actually, sorry, I got hair in my mouth, it's gone now. Uh, <laughs> I like to do this. If you sleep outside, if you take a nap outside, <laughs> nope, no cow patties out here. Um, if, you, if you take a nap outside and actually lay in the grass, that is even a deeper, bigger connection. And the more of your skin without your clothes or without shoes, um, then you're going to get a better sensation from the earth. Now then, what does this help with? A lot of people want to know, well, why in the world would I want to do that? Oh, I saw a snake today. <laughs> I actually saw a snake today on a hike that we did. I'll talk about that in just a second. <laughs> um, but why you want to do that is that when you earth and you're, you're one with the, with the earth, you're giving it your energy, it's giving you your energy, and you are also you can fight things in your body like inflammation. There's a scientific study. Um, there's a scientific study that actually shows that if you are earthing at least five minutes a day, that your body actually releases inflammation out of it. Five minutes a day. You don't even need an ibuprofen. You don't need an aspirin. You don't need anything. You just need five minutes a day with your bare feet, just like this just in the ground, just walking around, enjoying it. If you wanna lay down in the grass, it's a beautiful thing to do. So beyond that, I wanna talk a little bit about naturing. And naturing is this. Naturing is for me. This is my term. Um, getting back to nature, that's right. Getting back to what the planet that we, you did that a lot as a kid, and right, and weren't you happy? You were happy, you were, you were having fun, you were running around. Uh, it's a great experience and I encourage you to take off your shoes and go for a walk in the, in the dirt, in the grass, in the sand. You know that feeling that you get where you, when you're at the beach? That is not just coincidental because you're on vacation. That is actually because you are barefoot in the sand. And when you walk along with the water and you get in the water of the ocean, um, you get... Yes, we have been disconnected, and this is my point. This is what I want you to do is get back connected because we don't dig in the dirt anymore. We don't get our food directly. I mean, we do, but we don't get it. You don't go and actually get it yourself. But this is why when you're on the beach um, that you have this euphoria. Yes, it's beautiful. Yes, it's lovely. That's why you de-stress, though, is because you are connecting to the earth. Um, so thank you. Yes, it's a gorgeous view. We're going to show more of it in just a second. So I want to I want to challenge you. This is my challenge. This is go to kitchen challenge. I want to challenge you today, tomorrow, sometime this week. Today's Monday, so by next Monday, at some point, you take your shoes off. You take your shoes off, and and you go for a little walk, and you go for a little run or something with your shoes off and connect back to the earth. Hold on, I gotta see that. 
<laughs> yeah, I don't think you have to worry about buffalo roaming randomly and hurting you. So, um, so yes, so get back to earth, connect with the earth, touch the earth, touch the ground, and I promise you, you'll feel a release of stress out of your body. Do it every day, five minutes a day, you're gonna see the inflammation leaving your body. If you have arthritis, if you have cancer, if you have anything like that, get out in the sunshine, get some sun, and put your feet on the earth. Okay, so my name is Leslie, this is Go To Kitchens, and now I'm gonna to talk to you about the fun stuff, well that was fun for me, and should be for you, it's gonna change your life if you do it every day. Um, and I'm gonna show you a little bit of Estes Park, or excuse me, well yeah, Estes Park and Rocky Mountain National Park. So I'm gonna just swing all the way around over here. They have to put these fences up around their trees because the elk uh, actually like to eat the aspen and rut up against them, they'll knock them over. And there's our beautiful view. No, elk only attack when you provoke them or they have young or you're stupid and you get too close to them. <laughs> they don't just charge people for no reason. Yeah, um, so yes, so right, see this, uh, see that going up the mountain where it looks like there's a trail up that, that's actually a tram and then there's a neighborhood below that. And then if we go this way a little bit more, uh, Estes Park is right beyond that grove of trees right there. That's that's a neighborhood. And then right beyond that uh, is where Estes Park starts. We were just there having lunch and a hike. We did a little hike. Have some pictures of that. If you want to go to facebook.com, uh, go to kitchens.com, you can find those pictures. So there you go. There's my t-shirt. I bought it just for you guys. Thanks so much. I appreciate so much. Um, <laughs> no, I haven't seen him today. Um, I think, thanks so much for watching uh, our live broadcast. I do this live broadcast every day at noon, uh, Mountain Standard Time. My name is Leslie. I have gotokitchens.com. If you like what we're doing, please give us some hearts and, uh, and let us know that you like it so we can keep down the same path. My husband mentioned that town he's in Colorado now. Yeah, Estes Park is beautiful. It's kind of our little, uh, it's not a ski town like a lot of places are. This is more of a touristy, I uh, go to Rocky Mountain National Park. I'm sure you've heard of Rocky Mountain National Park. That's what's on my shirt. Rocky Mountain National Park gets 3 million, <laughs> 3 million visitors a year. And this is the 100 year anniversary, although you can hear Robin, <laughs> but he's just repeating it. Come here, babe. Come right in here. This is Robin. This is my husband, if you guys are wondering uh, who I'm married to. This is him. I'm married to a husband, too. <laughs> and we're in Estes Park, Colorado. And my name is Leslie, and this is Go To Kitchens. You can find us at gotokitchens.com. She's saying hello. Hello. Uh, you can find me at gotokitchens.com, where I actually do prepare meals. And on Fridays, you asked about lunch. Uh, you asked about lunch. I get to eat them. <laughs> And I do, uh, on Fridays, I have For Real Fridays, where I For Real cook on Fridays with you guys on Periscope. And this Friday, I'm making uh, marinara sauce, homemade marinara sauce, right there with you guys. So... My mouth is watering just thinking about it. <laughs> you won't even be home for lunch. <laughs> so again, my name is Leslie. This is Go To Kitchens. <laughs> I didn't promise lunch. I just said lunch with Leslie and I was going to teach you how to ground. So we were grounding today and today was food for thought and not eating for food. So, um, all right, you guys have an amazing day. Please find me again. Thank you so much for the hearts. Thank you so much for the comments. Uh, check me out every, every, uh, weekday at noon mountain standard time right here on Periscope. You guys have an amazing day. Love ya. Bye. Thanks for the hearts.